not do what? Reign over them. That's church people. Church people don't want God around. So they get a man or a woman and put him up on a pedestal. Usually with a throne in the pulpit, the preacher's chair. And make him the pope over the assembly. So that God won't reign over us. It's man's fabricated way of seeing a person, a human there, and not having to deal with God. They do it all the time. That's why they glory in Jay-Z or Kanye West or Beyonce. As long as we got a human figure in front of us that we can worship, it blocks my mind from acknowledging there is a God. I don't want to have God in my thinking. I don't want to acknowledge him because I have to live up to his dictates. So I'll get a filthy sinning human and make them a God. So I'll live up to their expectations. And I must always make sure he's what? Just like me. I got to make sure they're a sinner like me. So they'll never place demands on me above what I want to do. The Bible says all of your idols are like unto you. You're going to make idols that reflect you. So if somebody comes and preaches holiness, sanctification, the Bible says without which no man shall see the Lord. Without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. But I don't want to live up to that standard because I'm still fornicating. I still got all kinds of unregenerate, filthy, perverse things in my heart. I don't want to live righteously. I'm playing church. I'm walking around with the Bible. But I didn't think it was going to come to this. I have a form of godliness, but I deny the power thereof. So what do you get to replace the real God reigning over people? You get a world without God. And watch the world decay. Watch it rot right in front of us. As soon as Ichabod was stamped over Israel, the glory of the Lord had departed, they were through. They went to the wrong camp with the devil. They didn't want the glory of God around. Get this ark out of here. You see how the world doesn't want God around. The devil don't want him around. And religion doesn't want him around. So God must be individually housed in people that want God. Appreciate God. Worship God. The world will be without God. But the church people that mean business. They will become tabernacles of God. When you have a desire for a human king, you're setting in motion the foundation for the Antichrist. Look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. A world without God, replacing God with a human element that's going to reflect my own filthy sinful nature. And in place of that, I get the Antichrist. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which is the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So you see a mind and a civilization that doesn't want God, they will replace God with a human element. And the devil's going to get into that human figure and be worshipped as God over the human race, set up as the Antichrist. The next result you get without God, a world without God, is anarchy and chaos. First Timothy chapter 4. Anarchy and chaos will come to visit the human race because they don't want God. Everything that is the antithesis of God will displace God and you get as a result chaos. 1 Timothy 4, now the Spirit speaks expressly. Then the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Roman Catholicism, you have to live as a person that will not get married. You have to live and take vows before the Roman Catholic Church that I will not be married. I will not be, uh, take a wife or a husband as 
as a priest or a nun, forbidding to marry, abstaining from meats every Friday. You don't eat meat in Roman Catholicism, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. So you see now, religion is reformatting the society. Israel drifted off to Egypt and Babylon. The modern day church has drifted off to Rome. Roman gods, Greek culture, Masons rule the church underground. Masons are in the pulpit. Masons are the deacons. The lady went before the House of Representatives and said, God is not mocked. The Constitution was written by Masons. Jesus Christ is Lord. You're not fooling anybody. Get her out of here. Take her to psychiat psychological or psychiatric evaluation. She's crazy. She's ranting, they say it in the reports. A lady was ranting in the House of Representatives. Now you just listen to all these different senators and representatives talk. And you don't think they were ranting? And the lady says, you're mocking God. You heathens that worship Baphomet is what she's really saying. You're not kidding anybody. We see you. Get her out of here. Sergeant of the arms, get her out of here. She's crazy. The devil is marginalizing the Christian. The Christian is a nut in the devil's world. It's a world without God. That's why John the Baptist was a voice doing what? Crying in the wilderness. It's a wilderness. The mind is corrupted and rotten. And a voice comes crying to them. Repent. Make your pathway straight. Prepare to receive Jesus Christ at his second coming. The same wilderness exists. And the same voice is still crying to the people. 2 Timothy chapter 3. A world without God. Full of anarchy and chaos. Look at this thing as this thing unfolds. It's as plain as the nose on all of our faces. And anarchy has come to earth without God. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent. Which means without self-control, fierce, despisers of those that are good, despisers of those that just do good. Think about what I'm saying. When this thing really hits us with full intensity, you have to be pre-formatted to take it and understand what's going on and not flinch in the middle of it all. You have to expect it to be this way. So you don't get shook up. They'll despise you just because you do what's good. That's right. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. I would come to service, but the Falcons play at one o'clock. <laughs> Having a form of God-likeness, but denying the power thereof. Going to church. Have a form of a ritualistic religion that says they know Jesus, but they deny the power thereof like John MacArthur does. From such, don't hesitate, don't double think it, don't stay in church to pray for them and intercede that they see it. From such, turn away. Stop trying to drag them downstream with you. Turn away from them. Leave them. The word is preached to everybody on an equal footing. They reject it. From such turn away. For this sort of they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women. The word there is for dwarfs. Arrested development. Women who have been arrested in their development. They got a 35 year old diva's body with a fifth grader's mind. I'm 35 years old physically. And my mind has developed to that of an eight-year-old child. That's everywhere. Babbling Brooks. My wife was at a little football game yesterday going back to her college homecoming. See a little girl standing in the midst of all those, in the midst of all those people. And just bend over and start just backing up into some guy's groin, just twerk dancing, just rolling her butt like a dog, just hunching like a dog, all in the guy's groin. 
And everybody sitting around at the homecoming game just talking about old times and talking about, you know, college life. With those short dress on and just backing up, just hunching like a dog. Ha, yeah, yeah, ha, ha. Hold it, wait a minute. This is not appropriate here. What are you doing? It's a world without God. It's madness, craziness, insanity. That's what we're living in. Go to any event, any party, anything you go to. They call this dancing. You're a bunch of mad dog animals that have been driven insane. This is not dancing. This is worshiping the devil as a dog before him. That's what he calls on the human race to do.